just 10 days after joining the club from Derry City. The fee, a record £38,000. But the Glens are adamant that the player is not leaving the Oval. Coyle has only played two games for Glen Torren, and on Saturday he requested to be left out of the team against Portadown. And it's believed that Coyle now wants to join Glen Avon, the club which lost out in the bidding less than two weeks ago. Here's Glen Torren manager Tommy Cassidy. Well, apparently over the weekend there's a lot of rumours flying about, particularly in, in London Derry, that um, he's unsettled. As far as I know, that um, he's signed a three-year contract with me, and he's a Glen Torren player. And I hope he's going to have three successful years here. If he actually wants to leave the club, what do Glen Torrent think about that? I mean, what can they do? Well, first of all, he's a Glen Torrent player for three years. Uh, if we don't want him to go, he doesn't go. It's as simple as that. I'll be sympathetic to the boy. And um, we don't know the problems. There's some personal problems involved. We don't know them for sure yet. We're talking to him this week sometime, get everything um, sorted out, and hopefully he'll play for us on Saturday. But um, if the boy wants to leave um, and he's strong about it, we've got to consider that. But as far as I'm concerned today, Monday that he's a Glen Torrent player and I'm looking forward to, to, to him playing and scoring goals against Ards on Saturday. Rumours today as well that the player actually wants to go and play for Glen Avon. I mean, what do you think about that? All I can say, um, there's been a lot of speculation etc over the weekend. Um, the events in the Irish League in the last two or three months with all these court cases etc, there will be serious repercussions for any club that uh, approaches Liam Coyle. He's a registered Glen Torrent player and we want to make it very clear to any club in the Irish League that's the way it's going to stay. We've had too much of this in the Irish League in the last few months, but certain clubs seem to do this. All I can say is that he's a Glen Torrent player, he will be a Glen Torrent player, hopefully on Saturday against Ours, hopefully scoring goals, and I'm happy with him up to now, but I think it'll be resolved this week, Stephen. And Glenavon's official response today is that they have not spoken to the player in the last 10 days, but are aware that Coyle has not settled at Glen Torrent.